the great summits of the world. This is Aoyantepui in the Guiana Highlands of South America. From its top cascades the world's longest waterfall, Angel Falls. The waterfall was named after a legendary pilot. This episode is about the little known story of Angel Falls. Vast tabletop mountains and giant waterfalls create the mysterious world that is the Guiana Highlands. Aoyantepui is the largest of the flat top peaks. The waterfall that plunges 979 meters over its cliff is Angel Falls. People from all over the world come to see this colossal wonder. Suidad Bolivar is located by the Orinoco River, the second largest river in South America. With a population of 300,000, the city has thrived as the center of eastern Venezuela. During the struggle for independence from Spain in the 19th century, it was the seat of the revolutionary government. The city was named after the hero of the independence battles, Simón Bolívar. This is the airport in Ciudad Bolívar. Tourists fly from here to the Guiana Highlands. We're going to Canaima and Angel Falls. Very exciting. We've seen lo loads of di different things around Venezuela. This is the first time I've been to South America. I wanted to see the world's greatest waterfall. I've had this dream for a long time, and now I'm here. An airplane is on display in front of the airport. It belonged to a legendary American bush pilot, Jimmy Angel, the discoverer of Angel Falls. In 1933, Jimmy was flying alone over the Guiana Highlands on a resource survey when an unbelievable sight came into view. On the face of a cliff at the deepest end of a valley where even indigenous people wouldn't go was a gigantic waterfall. Jimmy instantly knew it was the highest waterfall in the world, but he could only estimate its height. Four years later, he returned with his wife, Marie, and his friend, Gustavo Henny, and tried to land on top of Aoyantepui. The airplane crash-landed, and the three were barely able to climb down from the mountain. But his name and his discovery became known to the world. The giant waterfall was named Angel Falls in his honor. Our crew decided to try and reach the waterfall by boat from a local village. Indigenous people call this place Devil's Canyon.
Huge rocks that have tumbled down from the cliffs block our way. After traveling up the river for four hours, Angel Falls looms into sight. An official geographic survey in 1949 found the height of the fall to be 979 meters, confirming its status as the highest waterfall in the world. we decided to go right beneath the falls. There is no basin in sight. Water that gushes from such an elevation turns into small droplets and falls like rain. Even right at the bottom of the waterfall, there's nothing but drizzle. But moments later, wow. buckets of water hail down. The drizzle turned into a storm in a matter of seconds. As the water falls down the long plunge, it spools in air and causes a wild storm right beneath. Jimmy Angel also tried to get closer to the waterfall. But his way was hampered by a storm like this. Jimmy Angel died in 1956. His family and friends scattered his ashes from a plane over the waterfall. His friend wrote in a memoir, the ashes disappeared into the spray. Our beloved Jimmy returned to his waterfall. On the flat top of Aoyantipui, where Jimmy's plane crash landed, is a stone monument. Jimmy Angel's name will live on as the name of this magnificent waterfall.